Hey everybody, I've got a video here, this is my 55 gallon in my downstairs living room area and I just rehomed a bunch of, uh, ni 19 to be exact, Mickey Mouse Mollies. So now this tank has been freed up. What else I have in here, you can see he's going crazy there is a horse face loach is the only horse face loach I do have in here and then I've got nine panda corridors um, most of which are juvenile not full grown adults I do have two full grown adults in here. There's, I think that's one of the full grown adults. And a juvenile right there next to them. There's another juvenile there. So this tank here essentially has become a crypt tank, with the uh, exception of a couple. Um, stem plants and a single sword a red Reuben sword it's really getting red in the center there so I need to get it moved over to a tank with an eco complete it's, a, it's iron rich and it'll really make that red really vibrant yeah this is a crypt tank um, I got got in um, some extra crypts last week and they're in here some of them are in here there's a few right here the new ones there was another sword over here on this right side I removed there's a couple crypts right here in the front I'm just gonna see what they are because they weren't labeled the first the place I got them from um, so I, I there's some of them I didn't know what they were I ordered six different kinds of crypts some of which were very similar uh, um, you know colored shaped sizes and how they arrived were looked very similar so and, and some of them were damaged just due to shipping reasons um, so I couldn't quite make out what they are so I just stuck some in here to see let them grow out and see what exactly they are um, but anyway this one's a red Windidii um, I think that one there is a Lutea. That green one there, little guy, is a Lucens. There's another Windidi I read. And this Windidi I read there has been pulled and replanted. There was like two sprouts from it I pulled and gave them away. Um not too sure what these three here on the front are I want to say this one's a Walesii or a Baguette it's the um, very different variation of the um, Wendetti Crypt and there's another um, Lucens right there and in front of that Algae Rock is a Tropica or not Tropica not Tropica, it's a, yeah, it's a Tropica, and I want to say that's another, um, Wendeki right there as well, or Getdai, and then the taller one right next to the uplift stack is a Blesii, it's a taller variety, and I've got one of those right there, and then two over here, back in the back there. And there were two swords back there, believe it or not, when where those two set. Um, that pretty much engulfed all everything you see there, minus the crypts. You can see, kind of tell where they were, their uh, footprint where it was, um, compared to the algae on the rocks. 
nice and bare. <clears throat> and this one here, I'm not too sure what it is. I believe this is a. I got this. This is floating in this tank. I'm not sure where what it came from. But I think it's another Tropica, just like this guy here. There's another um, Lucens. No, Lutea. Lutea. There's the Lucens. Lucens is smaller than the Lutea. Their leaf shapes are very similar um, in in the shape. Their size difference and their color, uh, you can see in the Lutea, it's got some bronzy and ruffled edge of the leaves, whereas the Lucens, very small, um, compact growth. And then in here is some Parva, um, just a couple of sprigs I've stuck in here, and they've done what you see here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Well, there's a couple little pieces in here. Like this one here is doing the best. But I don't know if it's just because of the um, size of the substrate that's in here. Um, it seems though as though, generally speaking, all the other crypts I stuck in this tank have done very nicely. Um, this crypt in particular... Um, has been undisturbed for about four or five months and it's very green, a very red, deep red. I do dose this tank with iron every now and then um, as well as aquarium co-ops easy green but I did have these mollies in here like I said 19 of them um, they, their, their uh, bio load was keeping this tank pretty well fed for the most part. I can't remember. I think that's a Rotala I can't remember. Rotala plant, stem plant. I got it off of eBay. There's a couple of sprigs from there. I think there's a couple of floating, I see. <clears throat> oh, and then the one crit that I got in the order, it was a um a rare crypt, rare ruffled crypt. It was a Hondurai crypt. So it was a big plant. It was um, smashed in the order. Um, there was another plant of the similar size in the bunch. You know, it was two plants together. Um, this one was fared better than the other one as far as visual. Both plants melted back and was and mushed all the way to the roots as you can see this came back from just nothing um the other one however i did put it in a different tank and i do not think it's going to make it but it's supposed to be a crypt under eye i like these other small ones this one there and then these two here I'm not quite sure what they are. One looks it's looking like a Wendeki or Bacchetti. I don't know. And then I got a, I did order one, a, Mor a Mora and a Pon. Um, I don't know, it starts with a P. It's a larger variety. I think that one is that one. Just from the pictures online. And then the Mayo or Mo Mayo. Um, is actually in my little hospital tank here. I think those are the Mayos, Mayos, more, more, I don't even know. And I'm not sure what those two are that came in the shipment. And I'm not too sure what those are either. So, these two here are some Cryptocrine um, Flamingo. That's not looking too hot though. Need to get that algae out of off of them. But a the couple of these, this one looks like it's turning around. But those other ones, not so much. Like that one there in the back. That one there looks like it's it's a downer. 
So yeah. What are you gonna do? So, like I said, this was uh, this tank's now opened up for something else. Let you guys let me know in the comments what uh, what do you think I should do? Put in here. No, let me know what you guys think. Let's see what we can do with this tank stock wise. I mean, I'm liking the look of uh, just random crypts everywhere. I mean, I've got some of these little rock hides from the quarries. Um, they'll hide out under them every now and then. Um, but I just like the different color textures of the crypts. I'm really digging it. And I got the stem plant, this Pogostema Stella octopus with some cyan cyanic bacteria, the green green slime algae or whatever it is, the common name. You see a little layer of it here. Believe it or not, pond snails will eat this stuff. And you can see I got some of the red algae, red bacteria growing with this. From my understanding, is a good thing. It means it's a well-established tank. And one thing about this substrate is, is it's about five inches of rock, four or five inches of just um, aquarium gravel. Nothing special, but it is under gravel filter. So all of the debris that has collected in this tank, um, I have, I've, I have not done um, a major siphon. I'll do an occasional in between the plant siphon if I'm feeling it. But otherwise I just leave the debris to collect in the gravel. Uh, one good thing about this stand that this tank is on is it's open bottom stand. So here let me uh, show you what uh, it looks like here. Yeah, I got a flashlight right here. So if you see, we do have some distritus mold buildup, but over there in the corner where the lift stack is, it's pretty well clear. And the whole big buildup is right in the center. And then on this side, where the other stack is, it's very clear again. So you can see roots and the plants coming through. Most people would be scared of this. And you can see roots coming through that stuff. But that's what all makes it good. So there's two individual plates. This one and that one. So the buildup is on this side. Air water is getting sucked through, drawn through that side. So overall each plate is still very open. I would say after about two years of running this tank, and this tank has been up and running now about a year, it would need a, a major um, gravel vacuum, pull all the plants and just clean the gravel and kind of start fresh again. But for right now, all that goodness that's in the substrate is what's making these crypts look so amazing. Mm. Look at that. There's a random leaf from the Belisei melted back in the back there, one of them. But yeah, I mean this all that gunk that's in this substrate. It's just gravel. And some dosing of some ferts every now and then, but generally speaking, it's been just the fish that have been feeding fish waste, the byproduct of the nitrogen cycle, is what's been feeding these guys. So, we'll give an update here in uh, about a month or so with this tank, and uh, might have to put out one here shortly on it to do an update for just what I stocked it with and then I'll do another update on these new crypts that are in here 
We're all going to look good and see what the progress is on those. So, until next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up, notification bell. Thumbs down if you don't, don't like it. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. Thank you all.